Funding for the production of Public Square provided by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, working to improve the lives of vulnerable children. I had to attempt suicide and be hospitalized because I couldn't admit to everybody that I had lost total control over my life. Opting out, just um, finding a way to eliminate myself would be better than having to stop and say, look, I need help and I need to slow down and stop doing all of these things at once. You don't want to tell people that you don't have control. You don't want to admit that your life is falling apart. You know, you can say, how many people here have diabetes or how many people have high blood pressure? We're not allowed to say how many people here have a mental health issue. I think a big part of getting rid of the stigma is letting people know not only is it okay to talk about this, it's also okay to feel. Going to talk to someone about your deepest, darkest secrets, I'm sure all of you can attest, was probably the strongest thing you ever did. It is everybody's problem because this is an issue that goes across every line. Kids are as suicidal in the high economics as they are in the low economics. If a young person's only way to get your attention is to say, I'm going to kill myself, they, they need the attention. Give it to them. Welcome to Public Square, where civic dialogue takes center stage. I never told anyone. I never even so much as hinted that I was depressed. And it's like it was just boom. One day the decision was made, I was done. Suicide. It's a topic many people prefer to avoid, especially youth suicide. But in New Mexico, the rate is about two times the national average. It's the second leading cause of death for people aged 15 to 24 in the state. In Native American communities, the rates are even higher. Important, but Many say the first step to removing the, the stigma of suicide is to talk about it openly. And that is exactly what we will do. We'll hear from people who attempted suicide, as well as advocates in treatment and prevention. After that, we'll discuss possible solutions with Catherine Torres, the Secretary of the New Mexico Department of Health. We'll also hear from Senator Linda Lovejoy and Roxanne Spruce Bly, who is coordinating a new suicide information center for Native American communities. First, here's a little more about our topic. 